Hey, this is Dave Blair coming at you from DaveBlairMusic.com YouTube channel. And today, instead of straight ahead music, I want to talk a little bit about video and editing video. Because if you're a musician today, you really need to know how to do some basic uh, video. Even if you're in iMovie, uh, better better off if you even could get a uh, well versed in Premiere or Final Cut Pro. Even the basics, just to do some video, uh, you could actually get into video pretty quickly, pretty relatively cheaply. Uh, it's not as daunting as you think if once you know the basics. So what you have to do obviously is capture some video and you could get a $300 camera, a, you know, a, a used older version of a, a Canon Rebel or you could get something a little fancier, you know, depending on your budget. Right now I'm capturing video on a DSLR called the Canon EOS uh, 7D. It's a little bit of an older model. When it came out, it was probably like a $1,500 camera. Now you could probably get one on eBay for six, 700 bucks uh, with a lens or whatever. Uh, so it's you know it's relatively affordable and it's you know still considered a quite a high quality uh, camera at least you know if you look at my videos not this one because I'm doing this on the phone but because uh, I'm doing this quickly on the fly uh, you know gorilla style but if you see my other videos the you know the, the picture quality is pretty good so but what I want to focus on here is converting files and what does that mean because uh, when you're capturing your video a lot of times a, a newbie will just take the stuff off the camera you know, drop it on desktop and then they open up their program and just drop it into, in this case, it's Final Cut Pro. Uh, and then they'll try to start editing and they're wondering why it's starting, cr it's crashing and doing all sorts of weird things. The reason is because file formats are different. Uh, there's a ton, like a hundred, you know, there's a, tons of different file formats. And what most cameras use is to capture video is a, usually a different format than what is best for editing video. Uh, it's just capturing video has different sets of requirements and certain file formats are better for recording and other file formats are better for editing. So inevitably it sounds like a pain. I wish, you know, you could just drop it in there and start editing right away, but it doesn't work that way. Although some of the newer programs may, may convert it right for you. Uh, I'm going to, in this case, this is a, an older version of File Cut. And so I'm going to take what I need to do is basically convert the file. So, here is a program, it's a free program, MPEG Stream Clip. Here's the two files that are recorded on the Canon. If I drop this right into File Cut, it's not gonna really be easy editing that stuff if it, if it works at all. So, what I would do is you take this free program, MPEG Stream Clip, go to a list, batch list, and all batch list means in, uh, or batch is a term you hear in computers a lot, all it means is like a a batch <laughs> literally it's a it's you know, you're doing more than one at a time although I think this would still work if I had you know just one I'm gonna click add files uh, and there's my files so I'm gonna take that one and bring it to bat and click the two batch and then I'm gonna say oh it's gonna ask me where it wants me to put it when it's done and it's gonna ask for the I have a preset setting. Here's the thing, this looks a lot really confusing uh, because there's all these settings. Look at, you know, you can see the settings I have. Most of them are the default. Uh, 12, uh, 1920 to 1280, uh, is, this is good for, for, you know, basic YouTube and things like that. If you're not sure which one to use, you could do some research on, on you know, Google or whatever, but basically these settings are pretty much default and then 1920 to uh, 1080. If once you convert it, it's a weird size, it's a weird shape, or it looks fuzzy, then you know you can try a different format. You did something wrong here. So I'm gonna put that to the batch. And one file was added. Now I could do this with multiple files at once, or I could do I'm gonna add another one. Same concept. I'm gonna drop it in here. And I'm going to use my presets. And notice that I'm converting it to ProRes 422. Now, just to show you all the different types of file formats, there's tons. But I know that ProRes 422 is what works pretty good in Final Cut Pro. To batch. And then what I would do is select Go. And what it will do, you wait some, some period of time. And when it's done, it'll drop those files into here in the, for, in the format that's... Uh, 
Final Cut likes, and then what you do is you just take those files, not the original, but the converted new files, and you drop them into your project in Final Cut, and you're good to go, and they'll edit it a lot quicker, or, and a lot cleaner. So, um, that's just a, you know, it's a quick, uh, fast overview, but I think a lot of people don't understand that, and if you need more details, there's plenty of YouTube videos on it, but, uh, I think if you're getting, starting to get involved in video, which I think if you're a musician, you really need to, because people aren't going on MySpace anymore, they're going on YouTube and they want to see a video, and even if it's a real basic video of you sitting in a chair playing an acoustic or whatever, uh, videos is what people are going to want to see of you and your music. Uh, even if it's a low low budget video, if it's cool and interesting, that's more important than having a big budget and you know all sorts of fancy cameras. But uh, that's a whole other tough topic. But uh, since I was doing this, I like to throw together videos when I'm doing things that could help other people and throw them up on my channel so people can learn. Uh, subscribe, learn more shit. Bye.